Hey y'all, it is Jamila here. I am an encourager. I'm the founder of Loved and Blessed and I'm back with another tip for you on how to stay encouraged. So today happens to be a Sunday morning and uh, one of the things that I'm doing and I would encourage you to do as well is that for most of us, our churches have moved to an online platform. Now, that's hard for some of us who miss the fellowship of being able to see our church family every Sunday. But the flip side of that is that a lot of churches are online right now. So whether it is their Sunday service or whether it's their uh, Bible study midweek, um, young adult Bible studies, um, some people, small groups have actually shifted to online. And a lot of those are being broadcast either on the church's website or on other social media platforms, which means that there are thousands upon thousands of church services and Bible studies that you can actually watch and participate in. So, and on the positive side of things, there's actually even more resources and you could spend your entire Sunday watching different services from different churches. I would really encourage you to take advantage of the fact that so many churches are online right now. Churches that normally maybe you wouldn't even, you know, maybe you've thought of visiting but never got a chance to visit. Um, pastors whose books you've read or who you follow on social media and have never actually, you know, taken the time to sit down and actually watch some of their sermons. Take advantage of that online, everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, on those churches' websites. There's so many resources right now for you to be able to actually get the word and continue to grow in your spiritual growth um, during this time. So don't see this as a negative of a time where you can't go to church. See this as a time where you actually could go to thousands of churches. And I would encourage you not to just do that on Sunday mornings, but maybe even throughout the week. For me, there are a lot of times where in my mon in my morning quiet time, instead of um, praying and reading my on my own, I'll actually go and just watch a sermon from another church or for some, from um, a pastor somewhere or a Bible study. So take advantage of this time, and that is another way how you can stay encouraged. Keep following along for more encouraging tips, and I'll talk to y'all again soon.